I'm Zoe. I'm Addie. I'm Athena. And this is the Jackson Storm Solar Car. To start off, building solar plants can create an insignificant carbon footprint compared with savings from avoiding fossil fuels. Solar technologies can convert sunlight into electrical energy through photovoltaic panels that concentrate solar radiation. Now here is how the solar panels work. When the sun shines onto a solar panel, energy from the sunlight is absorbed by the photovoltaic cells within the panel. This energy then creates electrical charges that move as a response to the electrical field in the cell, causing the energy to start flowing. Our car has a unique design that covers different components such as speed, weight, and aerodynamics. Speed is covered with our chosen gear ratio, which is a one to two ratio. Weight is covered by using balsa wood as opposed to any other material. Aerodynamics is covered by our car with a spoiler that is angled so that the, our car can go faster. We also 3D printed a ball and socket joint to adjust the solar panel to follow the sun. The energy transfers with, through the copper within the wires. This energy is converted into direct current or electricity so that it can be used by our motor. The motor then uses the electricity to make the smaller gear. Smaller gear then moves the bigger gear which is attached to the axles moving the car. The following materials were used for our car. 3D printing materials, balsa wood, plastic wheels, carbon fiber, steel, copper, hot glue, super glue, Velcro and rubber bands over the wheels. We had a 3D printed ball and socket joint for the preciseness. Because the material for the printer is a bit heavy, our one to two gear ratio made up for that by exchanging some speed for more power. Additionally, we chose balsa wood because of its lightweight and has the ability to easily shape. The carbon fiber was used to hold the steel axle in place because of its durability. We initially had wanted to use different wheels, but realized how little the amounts were. That being said, we decided upon the wheels that you see on our car today. We also initially had different axles that were made up of carbon fiber. Although the wheels that we had chosen could not, couldn't fit this type of axle, instead we moved on to a steel axle. We also had an issue with our axles not being able to rotate properly which was quickly fixed with putting spacers between the bushing and the wheels. We also had changed the placement of our copper wires, which hook our car to the track. Lots of changes were made from our brainstorming stage to our finished product, but we are satisfied with the way our car has turned out. Thank you.